Almost the Film Doctor. We are here reviewing some of the best films ever. Without further ado, let's jump right into our movie review. <laughs> Plane. Woo! Uh, Gerard Butler, and I don't know the, uh, the other guy's name, um, but this movie, you know, Gerard Butler, he's out here killing the game. Angel is falling, you know. I can't think of the movies. I should have researched it because I actually just watched a little bit of it. I bought it. I seen it before, but I was just watching it again or whatever. It's like him and his wife go to some gas station and loses his wife and he's looking for her or whatever. And she was kid, you know, whatever. I'm not gonna go into spoiling that movie because that was a really good movie and I should have uh, actually reviewed that here on Film Addict. We talking about playing a movie that didn't get a lot of promotion behind it, but should have a movie that was a lot better than I would have put it out to be. Um, it's basically about this uh, pilot, this uh, captain. Pilot, captain of a pilot of a plane, <laughs> captain of a pilot, captain of a plane that is uh, taking these individuals uh, through an international flight, and there's another uh, captive criminal prisoner that's on the plane, and he's being transported, and so the the captain is trying to make sure that everyone's safe, and and uh, you know they're not startled by this, and the plane ends up ends up going down onto this remote. Um, in this remote location, this, this secret location, this area that has no rules and laws that basically the people that live there are like, I don't know, I don't know what words, they're, they're I mean they're running the show, they, they really, they're out there trying to get money, I don't know what word to use to describe them, I'll call them criminals too, but they're like holding people hostage and, and trying to get money from their country for them to return their person to their country. Uh, Bad guys, they're villains. They, they, I mean, they they really play the role of a villain down to a T. Just no different than uh, Gerard Butler and the other guy played there. I mean, when you looked at them, when you look at them going out there and fighting, I mean, he, he pulled out as a captain, as a uh, as a pilot, he pulled out the John Quan Van Dam, and he was out there, blah, 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 he was out there fucking them up. You know, both of them out there fucking them. When you looked at them, he was just like, hmm. My hot nigga. Go ahead. Hey, even for Gerard Butler. So he was out there killing the game. I love the, the action of it all. I love the story of it all. The cinematography and CGI, ugh. That was kind of the downfall. But when I think about it, not every movie has the money to be going out there and uh, produce what the mouse of Disney be out here producing, okay? The mouse got money. So not every not every film production company has the same money to make it look good. So for what it was worth, I tried not to judge that. If you guys watch movies and you like, hey, that CGI was terrible and that's what makes for a bad movie. And I know a lot of people complain about like some of the Transformer movies, oh, the CGI on this, that, and the other, whatever the case may be. If that's something that creates a downfall inside of movies for you, then maybe this may not be a movie for you. But I do honestly think that if you like action movies, that this is something that you will like. I haven't seen, I mean, if you can, put it in the comments. Let me know a bad Gerard Butler movie. I'll wait. I'll wait, because I can't think of one. I can't think of a really bad Gerard Butler with his action movies. He's out there actually killing the game. He is that modern day uh, Jock Claude Van Damme. Um, and they, I mean, when they got together and they said they was gonna fuck them, I mean, they basically said to this, this group of bad guys, they was like, basically, and they went out there and they did their damn thing. I, I, you know, I bought the movie. It's on Fandango. You can, you can pre-purchase it. It's not out for sale yet, but I, I bought it on Fandango. I mean, honestly, I'll watch it over and over just because of the action of it, the storytelling, the, the suspense of it all was something that brought me in for that entire hour and a half, two hours, whatever it was. It was just for me, and I think for other people would be that cinematography, like the plane, the, the storm, etc., etc., that made those things not as entertaining. But is it something that I'm going to shoot it down to a C or a D or an E? I've seen worse films. We've seen worse films. I mean, do we really need to talk about, was it, was it a Jackie Chan movie? I forget the name of it, but do we really need to back up to, to some bad movies that we've seen? I don't think that this was one of them. I think that 
for what it was worth, if you look at it from a, the perspective of an action movie and, and everything else, and you look past the CGI, that you also will see it to be a B rating. Um, it definitely, I give it a B. I think that it was uh, well put together. I think that the cinematography was that only offsetting thing that I think other people will not enjoy. Um, the acting, like I said, not everyone's going to be Daniel Day-Lewis. So for what it's worth, I'm going to give it a B. That's all I have for you guys today. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell. Do all that jazz. Maybe send up some smoke signals. Uh, tie a little message to a, a pigeon's leg. Throw it on its way. Put a message in the bottle. Let it reach our shores. Let me know what you guys think about the, sh the movie. I was about to say the show because we also do TV shows here. What you guys think about the movie in the comments. And as always, this has been another exciting episode of Filmatic. And don't forget, if you don't like, comment, subscribe. Oh, Hogan, we're coming for you.